Hey guys, welcome to the review show. My name's Austin. The outfit is starring Mark Ry Rylance and um, a tailor named uh, Leonard uh, that is played by Mark Rylance that moves uh, that moves from London to Chicago. On uh, next one uh, night, he has to outsmart um, these groups of criminals to survive a fatal night. Okay, so I saw this movie when it was first in theaters. Um, I've been at the beginning of the year. I planned on reviewing every movie that I've seen like that I see that comes out um, so I kind of fell behind in certain parts I came busy when it came to um, this like you know certain movies so I have two more movies I need to catch up on um, and next because I just made a promise like I just like I'm gonna talk about whatever movie I see this year especially this one because this movie is really good and I wish I talked about it when it came out because this was a, honestly a really good movie. I, like I really had a good time with it. Um, it's just I don't know why I never. I don't remember what the reason why I didn't get around to reviewing it. Um, I would rather review this more than the uh, next two that I'm talking about. Um, but so yeah, this this is basically a you know small little budget type of movie. Um, I forget who it came from. So our main guy is played by Mark Rylance, and next he's like this tailor. He moved from London to Chicago, and next uh, he's been kind of like helping helping uh, these you know this group of mafia criminals dudes that is which is one of them played by um, Dylan O'Brien um, one of the one of the best actors working today in Hollywood which I really like him as an actor and so I'm glad to see him gain more work um, I know that he does a little bit more smaller projects I kind of want to see him do a little bit more bigger projects um, so I would like I want that man to start um, more work in, in like that area but so yeah, like, our it's it's a really small budget type of movie. It takes place literally in this like this one place, like this small building, this tailor workshop where our main character normally works. And so it's like basically a six-hour night movie. Like that's what this basically is, and and you just stay here with one care, basically two characters throughout the whole entire movie. And like and it's just these two characters going back and forth at each other and like mostly disagreeing on certain things and you know he, um, our main character is trying to like keep everything you know um, under wraps and make sure that it's not going to get out of control or what so not and um, and it's like you know the criminals are basically you know basically ruin his you know business and all that he doesn't want anything involved at all with whatever's going on because the reason for this night is that because the mafia uh, this mafia group they think a uh, unco uh, undercover spy that works for the e like for the police or FBI I, I forget what they were um, but they work for the government of some sort and so they and they believe that they were taped and so they're trying to you know keep this tape safe uh, like, like they got this tape and keep it safe and su uh, such a not and they and are just trying to figure out who is this undercover um, cop basically I don't know I really enjoyed it I don't really know what else to talk about without going to sports and I really don't want to go into sports because I don't know what platform this is on I maybe it's I don't think it's still in theaters I highly doubt it because it came out a little bit later in the, earlier in the year but this was honestly a really good movie like I really had a great time with it from uh, what I can remember and so yeah, I'm going off of memory. I I haven't seen it in a while, but I do remember it being really good. And so I want you guys to go pick this up and just you know go to, and, and go watch it. Like I, I believe it's on Apple TV. I was when I was looking up the cast members and all that. I I saw like the Apple TV TV logo. So go watch it if you have Apple TV. Um, it's really I it's honestly really good. And I probably should have watched it before doing this review, but I was like you know what I have a good memory of this movie. And so it's like, let's just talk about it and let's just get it done and over with because this review has been basically delayed for months and I, it's sad because I honestly really like this movie. Um, there's a couple problems with it. I, like there's like the, when it actually reveals of who this is, I kind of made a joke at the beginning of the movie. It's like, it's this person. And next I, it's uh, turned out to be that person. And I was like, okay, well that's, that's kind of nice. I don't, I'm, I'm just very good at pointing out like it's you. Like, I, I don't know, like, <laughs> like in any murder mystery type of thing or like, it's like a, or it's like a secret throughout the whole entire movie. It's like, I know it's you. Quit playing it off like it's not. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I, everyone does a great job though. The acting's 
phenomenal. Phenomenal. It's a really small cast. Really small cast. And so I'm gonna give the outfit an A minus. I really liked it. Go go find it on whatever streaming service it is on. Um, hopefully, it, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, if you guys like the mystery drama type of, and you know, um, and next mafia type of movies, if that's it, what if you're into, it's a slow movie as well. It's not nothing too um, crazy. No, not really any action or anything. It's more of a character development movie, and um, you know, it's just like a sit back and type of watch. It's, I think it's like about two hours long. It's a it's a, it's a quite of a long movie as well. So. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for watching and like always, I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye guys. Bye.